Hi Aries, it's Elle here to do your weekly spread. This will go from September 15th through the 22nd. Okay, so um, I have shuffled and prayed over the cards off camera. Uh, let's get started. Thank you to those who like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. It is much appreciated. Um, Aries, I hope we're having a really good week, okay? Alright, so let's jump into it. Alright, so we have how Aries is coming into the week is be true to you. Alright, be true to you. This is examining exactly where you are and making a decision that firstly benefits you. What is that? Okay, be true to you first. And then all else will fall in line. But if you put yourself out and put everybody else in, then you're out, you know? So put yourself in first. And then along the way, maybe you can start to bring other people. But be true to you. Um, some of you may have different issue about deep-seated issues within self. Your sexuality what it is you like what it is you don't like uh, who you don't like uh, realizing what it is you want a family or not uh, yeah okay and we'll pull some cards on it so in the environment uh, around you and uh, with you we have hobbies so is a positive outlet if you have energy to expend participate in some hobby you may even be monetizing yeah monetizing some hobby because um you're really good at it so getting paid to do something you're really good at or a side business something of that nature um keeping yourself busy busy an idle mind is the devil's playground so always being busy, okay? Um, what's helping you and what it or who's helping you seeking and finding. So what you're looking for is looking for you. You may be gaining information, knowledge about you fill in the blank. Um, it's there for the taking. It's there waiting for you. It's been there waiting for you. Uh, this is the person who asks for knowledge, wisdom, and then it comes. Uh, they seek also. This could also be somebody spying. This could also just be gaining information, perspective about you fill in the blank. Um, this is what's helping you. This is what's helping you. Ask the right questions is what I'm hearing. Okay, uh, how you close out the week? You had two cards and they popped out um, facing down. So let's see. We have new exercise program and grief work. Okay, so you may need to deal with some things that you haven't dealt with. Maybe in regards to yourself or others around you. Um, you may be a grief counselor. People may come to you with situation. This may be um, a career path that uh, you're on. You could be a social worker or counselor, therapist, uh, anything in that regard where you actually help people through some type of traumatic experience or grief. You may also need to be, grieve a traumatic experience yourself that you may have repressed or you are repressing. You may need to do the grief work in regards to loss and loss of life, money, home, career, uh, exercise program. Once again, expending that energy, new fresh thought. When the blood gets flowing and pumping in different areas of your body because you are using all areas with that new exercise program, it makes for a good opportunity for uh, increased uh, mental capacity increase um, uh, idea and intellectual thought and uh, genius I'm here genius thought so 
not only do you need to work on your body, you know, maybe for some of you, maybe, you know, gain weight, but also for your mental health, okay? So, I'm going to put that back because I was not focused. Um, it's Aries comes into the week. We have be true to you. Five of water. Yeah, something about grief. Having not dealt with. A situation where you were married or you were dealing with someone who is or was married. Dealing with the situation maybe someone is hesitating before making necessary decision. Someone is mulling over, grieving a situation that is dead, is gone, cannot, should not be resurrected. Not seeing that in their circumference there is a much more meaningful relationship, business partnership, job, means to make ends meet. Where is this coming from? I was like, I'm not even talking. Yeah, things didn't turn out the way you hope, but you can't, you just, for the life of you, can't see the uh, positive in a new situation. It's over, it's done. Let's pull one more card. Could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um, there could be that in the past, or it could be present, there is or was an element of drama, a love affair. There was even romance within this, this situation, but there's discord and dissension and just problems and just feeling like you're being pulled in different different you know in different arenas and different areas uh, or someone around you feels that way someone can't make the decision what is this in regards to six of fire in regards to a choice maybe a choice to choose self this could be you Aries this could once again uh, be you making the choice to change something about you um, about public recognition uh, you making a choice in regards to noticing realizing that something or someone is or someone needs to make this choice about you Aries um, noticing and understanding that you or vice versa uh, something is useful something that you're on the right path to finding a sense of usefulness in whatever you're doing or with a particular situation person place or thing right and making the choice to give recognition to so it's like Someone say hesitating before making some grand decision in regards to, um, yeah, t turning the tide, you know, the course, um, maybe towards you or vice versa, you doing this Aries and saying that you are useful in my life. You have use. I understand why you're here. Uh, I've, I've analyzed what we have, the history. Uh, and I make the choice of you this is be true to you and if you're wanting someone to do that be true to that don't if you want someone to make a choice say it don't feel as if you're backing someone into a corner and you're getting an ultimatum and they're going to run away if they do that then that's what they're going to do in, in, in the first place okay hobbies hobbies five of air so for some of you um, there might be a situation where 
Some of them may be jealous of the work that you do in regards to hobbies and how you're really good at it, whatever it is you do. Yeah, there's like talk around this this thing. Let's see. Give, okay. Release. Yeah. The death card. For some of you, you have already monetized in a hobby. And you were going at it maybe in the wrong manner. It, it just isn't working out. It has been uncertain. It has been up and down for you. You might choose to revamp. Release. Find resolve in the fact that it might just be a hobby and not a way of life for you. Of, of existing. Of making money. Um, it may be time for you to move away from that. Give me one more card. Yeah. Yeah, that may be some type of revelation that comes to you that tells you, you know, you've done enough here in that phase, in that sector, and now it's time to, to walk into a new, okay? Seeking and finding. That's the energy around you and your environment. Seeking and finding areas. What are you seeking? King of Fire, maybe about yourself, Aries, uh, Aries. Why am I saying Gemini? Maybe some of you dealing with Gemini. Aries, Leo. Why is my mind blank? That is a first. <laughs> uh, that is. Um, that is grand. Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. You may be trying to bring together some really um, creative endeavor, trying to communicate as a leader, trying to see the King of Fire brings the people together to make something happen. Um, you may get some advice from someone who's very creative, maybe older, wiser, has their own business, or is over a number of people. This could be a cancer male too. Queen of Earth, yeah. This is in regards to um, maybe even you dealing with some type of challenge, making better decisions in regards to foundation and money and uh, long term goals and what you do for work what you do to bring in the pentacle so you may be learning you may be studying more you may ask advice of hmm one more card for seeking and finding none of what wow to bring a wish come true You may be spying on or trying to gather information about someone you're dealing with so that you can make a good decision, a collectible, a collective, um, a very well thought out and collective decision in regards to dealing with them. This is my married man with children. You're trying to take the sensible approach in regards to dealing with maybe a taboo situation but even in it all you see or you yeah you see in this person or this person whomever you're dealing with um you see what you've wished for what you wrote down in journal what you've prayed for what you've manifested in new moon in uh 
in your prayers one more card page of earth yeah this could even be in business too you could be wanting to do something a little more challenging could be wanting to study go in a different direction saying that my stability is elsewhere in regards to hmm this is about learning and going to school and yeah, gaining knowledge at the end and the close of the week we have the two of water wow so this might be a relationship you guys are growing closer in the, the realm of grief dealing with uh grieving a situation for earth you may even be taking the relationship to another level um maybe a status change here there could even be money given to from two so that could be aries from aries two or from other individual to aries There be something that you're holding on to in regards to another person too. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. Yeah, and then the Queen of Water comes out. Because this relationship might be developing to another level and it's new and it's it's scary because you haven't dealt with maybe a situation from the past. Trust your intuition here. What is the universe trying to tell you? What does your heart say? What is your mind saying? Hopefully they are both aligned and at ease. We have someone who might be married who could be a you know a spouse that is that is out doing yeah a cancer pisces scorpio this person needs to make a choice The ball is in their court in regards to what they're dealing with. They're just very frightened. They feel closed in, trapped to a negative situation. Fearful thoughts of. Of letting go. Okay, Aries, let's see what the advice is for you. In regards to dealing with this particular person, So let's go on over to the website and talk about what the advice is for you in regards to dealing with this. Um, all right. Yeah. Interesting, Aries. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Yeah. Definitely interesting. Okay. All right, so I'll see you on the other side. Remember, it's always $2.25 to get the extended reading. Um, if you feel like this reading has resonated with you thus far and you don't want to purchase, you know, um, 
a more uh, in-depth personal reading for yourself the extended reading is here for you um, note to stay in prayer guys I'm praying for you pray for me as well all links are below take care